Hi everyone, this is Tuplex. Welcome back. Uh, before we get started today, I uh, just want to make a quick announcement. Um, as I'm going through this series, um, some of the other things going on in my life have changed a bit. Uh, my priorities are shifting a little bit, and as a result, I'm finding that I don't have quite as much time for Factorio as I did when I started the series, or even the series before that. Um, and my goal for quite a while has been to release one video per day, and I've been able to stick to it for the most part. There have been some exceptions here and there. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, uh, things have changed a bit. Um, I've got some other things, um, some other interests of mine um, that are demanding more of my time at this point. And uh, I don't want to get to a point where I am uh, resenting the time I spend doing this or, or having to just rush through it. Um, actually, I feel like I've done that a little bit recently, you know, just trying to just sit down, uh, record an episode for 40, 50 minutes and uh, get it done and over with just so I have something to release. I, I don't want to do that. I want, I want this to be good content. Um, I know that a lot of you look forward to an episode every day. Um, I know I do when I'm watching a good series that I enjoy. Um, but I also have to keep in mind that once these are released, um, a lot of people are going to be watching this in the future that don't care when they come out, you know? Um, so, so I had basically two options, right? Uh, one would be just to give it up completely and say, I'm retiring from YouTube. Um, but that doesn't appeal to me for a lot of reasons. Uh, number one, I do enjoy doing this. Um, number two, I know that um, a lot of you are looking forward to seeing the rest of the series, and, um, and so I wanna, I wanna continue to do that. So my other option is just to reduce the frequency of the videos. Um, instead of doing them every day, what I'm going to be doing, um, in the near future at least, is cutting back to three episodes a week. You know, so I'll be shooting for Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of a release schedule. So that way, um, they'll still be at least somewhat regular, but uh, it'll free up some of my time to do some of these other things that I want to do. So, um, so that'll be effective as of now. Uh, if I do find myself with more time, um, you know, I'll throw in extra episodes here and there. And if things change in the future, you know, if I <laughs> find myself among the un unemployed or something like that, then, uh, um, you know, that would be unfortunate, but uh, that would allow me to dedicate more time to it. But, but for now, I'm going to go back to, or I'm going to go down to three episodes a week. And um, I hope you all understand. Hopefully there won't be any any serious problems with that. Uh, I, I just want to thank all of you again for the great support, all the encouragement, uh, the helpful tips that I've been getting. Uh, it's really been great. It's made this uh, a lot of fun for me. So, and I'm learning a ton from you guys that have played it more than I have. Um, every episode I get lots of good suggestions uh, that help me out in the next one. So please keep that up. All right, so on to business here. Um, speaking of good suggestions, I really don't feel good about how tight I'm getting packed in here with all of the stone and geode um, processing and the filtration and the crystallization and all that kind of stuff. So I think what I'd like to do is move all of this to its own separate area so that this area can be dedicated purely to sorting and uh, refining and and then we would have a separate area to take in the stone the geodes and the slag and deal with that so um, I realize that this is going to slow down forward progress somewhat but I think in the long run it'll be better. I do want to have more room here so that I, because in addition to all this, um, 
straight sorting of ores. I also want to set up a couple additional lines to do combination sorting for iron ore in particular, um, but also any other ore that I'm running low on. And I really haven't left myself enough room to do that with all this other processing going on. So, um, so what I'm thinking is that we could, well, we could put it either here or we could put it up here. No, I can't put it here. So we could either put it here or we could put it here, which is better. I don't think, I don't think either is any better or worse than the others. You know, we could put some production in this area, but um, I'll save that for something kind of small since I'll need to squeeze it in amongst these uh, ore mining sites. So, one, two, that would be three away. Eventually the ore would be coming in here, right? So I think if we put it in here, it'll be a little bit closer. If I put it down here, then that's one, two, three. That's like three, three and a half sections away. And here it's only two sections away. So that is my proposal that we move the processing over here. And that's what I would like to start working on today. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop making slag slurry. And I'm going to stop making... I guess I could just cut off the acid. No, I don't want to do that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just be consistent here. Remove that. And we'll stop making crystal slurry. Now in this case, I have a full tank of crystal slurry. Um, so we could either destroy it or I could attempt to use it up here quickly. Let's see what, whoops, let's see what we can make with the crystal slurry. I need mineralized water to do anything with it, it looks like, or purified water. Uh, that'll just make me more liquids. Yeah. You know what? I'm just going to make it simple. Goodbye, crystal slurry. At least I got rid of some geodes. Okay. So, um, I already have slag and stone going up here. Uh, what? Okay. Um, so I think I'll send the geodes up here as well. Um, but I feel like, I feel like we should be <clears throat> loading the geodes in equal quantities of all six types. Um, so maybe what I could do is make a requester warehouse or a provider. If I make this a passive provider warehouse, then I could load into here with bots equal amounts of the six types. Why are those still requester warehouses? Those should be normal warehouses now, shouldn't they? I thought I had fixed that. Okay, I guess I cleared the requests, but... All right, so these I will leave as requester warehouses. And what we can do is we can request the six types of geodes in these. Okay, and uh, if those stack in 200s, what are we storing here? 20,000. Okay, so we could do, let's just do, I don't want to do 10,000 of each. Let's do 2,000 of each in each chest. Okay. 
Now that's not going to be a full train's worth, but I think that'll be okay. Okay, so those are each requesting 2,000 of each type. And I'll just make, I'll make another. Didn't I already make one? <clears throat> I guess I didn't. Let me make two more. Passive provider warehouses. Oh my god. Oh hell no. Okay. That was a bad idea. I'm going to reload my last autosave, which was this one. <laughs> so in case you didn't understand exactly what happened there, um, the provider warehouses have much less space than the normal warehouses do. So when I replaced it, it uh, kind of exploded. Okay. So let's try that again. Now these these are both nearly full. All right. Well, I can get rid of that first of all. If I do that, Okay. Right, since I'm shutting this off anyway, let's pick up some of this. do that okay tell you what let's let's put the object or the target here all right um, passive provider warehouse all right now it'll snap in the right way. Okay, uh, now we need a zone extender. Looks like one will be enough. I'll put it. I'll put it here so it's relatively out of the way. No, let's make sure we get the whole thing covered. put it there. Okay, so now this will start to empty in more or less equal quantities into this one. Um, I think... What? Oh. Alright, let's get rid of all this. And then what I'll do is no, nope, that's going the wrong way. There we go. I'll start loading into this one. Um, actually, let's just turn that off completely. Why? Because I've got a ton of it here. And I'd rather empty all this out first. All right. So we'll let that run. Uh, looks like I've got enough bots in the network to take care of this. 
Okay, and then like I said, I've already got stone and slag. So let's change the name of this. So this is going to be stone, slag, and geodes. Okay, and then this will continue to run until the slag slurry is used up. And then I have all these catalysts that I made that I will have to relocate at some point. Um, I guess that's the only thing that I regret about making this change is that the catalysts would normally be used here. So that means I'm going to have to bring the catalyst back over here from wherever I process the stone and the slag and the geodes. Um, so that's not quite ideal. But it will free up a lot of space, so that's a good thing. Okay, um, speaking of freeing up space, I did finally empty one of these warehouses of stone. So that's good. So we can remove that. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop this too. We don't need to accumulate more right now. Three warehouses is more than enough. We'll just let the rest of this production stop and get backed up until we can deal with it appropriately. Okay. So we're going to go north a couple of sections and start to put in some rail. Let's see, where can I go? I'll start going towards Crotinium 1. Just so I can get headed that way without having a collision with another train. Okay, and we have an awful lot of trees here. I'm going to disable my personal RoboPort because I don't want that one to pick up trees. Um, I want to check back at the main base and see how I'm doing on wood. Yeah, I've got 17,000. Still quite a lot. So, I don't uh I don't feel real good at this point about just destroying wood. Uh I f I feel like I still want to save it. Okay. So, let's see. Um I'm just trying to figure out where I put this junction. I'm basically going to mirror this uh, going north. So yeah, two to two junction I can put right there if I remove these power poles. Does that work? Yeah, that's more or less okay. Um, what I will be missing is that on the exit, I won't be able to get to this rail unless I just put a, another, another one just because that junction just misses it. But aside from that, I think it's okay. I'm gonna pick up some of this wood since the bots don't have enough space for it. Okay, I 
think they're just waiting to be charged now. All right, and then I can get rid of these power poles. Don't really need those. I'll turn my robo ports back on. Yeah, and uh, I think I will just destroy some of these trees. Let's do their thing. hoping not to get too close to the tracks because then they get damaged. Okay. So I'm going to head back to the main base here quickly just to unload all this wood and then we'll come back and get back to work on this. Um, all right, get rid of one of those. Actually, I think it was that one that I should get rid of. I guess it doesn't matter, really. Oh my god. That's the wrong place. supposed to be up here okay well I'm gonna leave that there anyway because I'm sure I'll want to put something there eventually oh, that's a little frustrating okay they already got all my all the wood from me there I think they'll I think they'll pick it up from my, yeah, they pick it up from my trash slots faster than these inserters can deal with it. So let me wait to get refilled here. Uh, what are these? I can delete that. I can delete. No, I want to keep that. I think that should actually, that actually belongs in my blueprint book. Okay, so let's head back to Crotinium 1 and let's see if we can do it properly this time. I'll wait till we actually get on that two-way section of track before I go to manual mode. Okay. Well, the good news is there's not nearly as many trees, <laughs> so that's good. All right, so we pick this up. I'll pick up that signal. I'll pick up that signal, and then we throw this down. And then I take out these power poles, because we don't need those. Okay, wonderful. Now, let's see. All right, yeah, so it looks like I just had one straight section of track and then I started turning off into the spurs. So actually, let me remove all of this. Okay. Actually, I could have left that there. Okay, so that'll be the first station. Not enough rails. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so let's put these back. All right, and then 
this is going to come, I think, right there. Yeah. Okay, and then let me see how we did the signaling on that. Um, looks like I just have a chain. Okay, that seems simple enough. Two way, so this is going north, that's fine. So here, I'm gonna want, am I out of signals too? I guess I am. All right, let's put some of the rail back in there and give me some signals. All right, so I'm gonna need a chain signal here because it's gonna be coming up here and then cutting over. Uh, and then this is going to be coming to the south, so we're gonna need a chain signal there. And I'll put a regular signal there. And a regular signal there. And then we also need a chain signal here. All right, is that how I did it down here? Okay, yeah, two chain signals on the outbound. Two chain signals on the outbound, that one on the inbound. Okay, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay, and then let's grab the station. Do I have stations? I do not. All right, let's make a few. And see if I've got enough room here for a train of four. Yes, I do, just barely. I think I'd like to add just one more section just to give myself a little bit of extra space. Okay. Well, and actually, um, I'm going to make this one a regular stop. This will be my passenger station. All right. So this is going to be slag stash slash stone geode processing. You know what, let's just call it slag processing or stone processing. We'll call it slag processing just to keep it short. Okay, and then I can tell my train to go there, remove that, add slag processing PAX, go. And then he'll go and do a U-turn and then come back here hopefully in just a minute or two. All right, so that'll be the passenger station. And then uh, we'll need a station to bring in the stone. Really, I think just one incoming station ought to be enough. So let's make a copy of this. And how far do we want, how far away do we need to make this? All right, let's figure that out. I'm gonna want one, two, well, let's see. Here's something we can do. There we go. That's how far away the next one needs to be. All right, so copy that, except for the train stop. And then that goes there. And, okay, why didn't I make another one? OK, 
Okay, there's two, and then there's another one. Okay, so we'll have one for incoming stone, slag, and geodes. Uh, we can have another one for fluids, because uh, we're going to need acid over here. I think sulfuric is the only one that we need. And then we can have another one for the outputs, which are going to be the different types of ores and other things that we make with all the junk that we're going to be processing here. All right, so we can get rid of this. Okay, I don't need a chain signal on the top one. Um, let's see, do I need any more signals here? I suppose I should have a signal before each of those segments. And perhaps another one up here. That seems like a good idea. Okay, and then these are all going to be LTN stops. All right, now let's look at my blueprint book where I had a receiving station, okay. That's great, although I would kind of like the warehouses to be on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna make the receiving stations from scratch. Now in this case, this is gonna be for the fluids, right? And like I said, I think the only I think the only fluid I need to bring in. Oh no, I do need to bring in I need to bring in mineralized water and I need to bring in sulfuric acid, right? Um Yeah, so I think I'm just I'll, I'll just bring it into here and then I'll belt it over here to pump it out. Or I could just I wonder if I could put two pumps over here. I think I could. Yeah, the pumps are three by three. So I could have I could have two pumps here, one for each fluid. And I think that would work. And then I can just put the empties back into this one to load into the train. Then I'm only going to be loading empties into one car. All right, so let's let's do this. Let's see. Is that right? I'm just doing this so I have extra room for fluids. All right, so this one will be for the fluids. And then I'll just eliminate this one. two pumps on each of these and that way we can put empty barrels back into both warehouses instead of only one and that'll give us plenty of room to manage the fluids and run pipes and so forth so this will be for the slag and the stone coming in this will be for the fluids coming in and then this will be for the outputs up here okay so um, that's going to do it for today. Uh, we'll continue this in the next episode. Thank you once again for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, 
if you think I'm making a big mistake by doing this, then please just keep that to yourself. <laughs> uh, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.